Hello everyone, this is Celebrity Rico with a mask review. Today we're going to be doing some more Sonic movie toy reviews. So, just found these in Walmart. Um, some of them are from a second line of toys. Some of them are from an older line of toys, but they're all uh, for the Sonic 2 movie that came out in 2022. So, this is December 2022. Um, the line, or should I say the movie came out this past summer. You can find some of the figures over the summer, like this figure right here. Uh, for whatever reason, pulled out old stock this past Christmas, and this one popped out again. The box is a little beaten up, and this looks like a new figure um, that is for a second line in relation to that movie. And um, this is a figure that I had previously opened. This is the actual uh, Tails biplane that uh, was also released this past summer. So I'm going to do or focus the uh, the toy review, the unboxing on these two figures. And uh, we'll put this one to the side for right now. But uh, this was also from the Sonic 2 uh, movie line. Just great figure nonetheless. The Tails biplane. Um, these are for a smaller set of figures. I don't even know if these are uh, three and a quarter. They're probably even smaller. They're almost like near micro machine size. But uh, just a great figure to have. Closest thing that you'd have to what uh, you'd see in the Sonic video games. That being Sonic 2 and Sonic 3. And just a great figure to have. It comes with the plane, Tails, and Sonic. Uh, highly recommend uh, if you find that in stores, which are probably becoming a lot more limited to find, and going out and buying that. But uh, again, really great figure. We'll put that down for now and focus on these two main figures. So first and foremost, uh, Tails. Uh, this was from an early release in the summer. Um, this was from the first four figures in the line. Uh, these figures kind of came and went. Um, like they were just there for a week and then gone the next. Uh, couldn't find Tails at that time. Only found, uh, as you can see on the box here, there's four figures. There's um, the main line, Sonic, Knuckles, Robotnik, and then Tails. Um, couldn't find um, Tails or Robotnik uh, when I initially uh, saw these figures in stores and Walmart and Target. Suddenly, like, Robotnik popped up in the middle of the summer, bought him, but um, couldn't find, couldn't find, um, couldn't find Tails until this past uh, Christmas season. It looks like pulled out some old stock, a beat up box, practically open already. Um, but uh, we'll go ahead and start with him. Uh, so it's got this uh, clamshell type of plastic, uh, 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 classic uh, box case. Um, Hasbro, for instance, is not kind of doing this for the most part anymore. They're kind of doing without the plastic, and it's just your basic cardboard box. You don't see kind of into the figure itself. You just get like a picture. But um, this is manufactured by Jack's Pacific, and they're still doing the clamshell um, kind of plastic um, see-through uh, case to see the classic figure. Uh, and with that, we're going to go ahead and open the already open box that came from Walmart. Look how look at that! Just already open, straight out of uh, straight off the shelf out of Walmart box figure out and there's tails in his movie version and I'll go ahead and pop him out and his head popped right off look at that hopefully I can pop this head back on looks like I can and his tails are a little separated too so he's got a little peg here let me pop his head right back on there oh, there we go thankfully the tails Tails is not broken, but his tails needs to be popped right back onto him. There we go. So it's, again, it's got that kind of like fur type um, look to it. So he's kind of got like the kind of the relief to him that you can kind of feel the fur. It's actually kind of relief to the to the figure. Uh, definitely different in terms of the texture from what you've seen from the actual video game figures. Um, just a cool figure nonetheless, and just great to have Tails show up in the second movie, uh, just like in the video game. Um, oddly enough, I know this was in the movie. Uh, it was played more of a gag, uh, but uh, he came with... Let me see if I can stand him up. The problem with these uh, movie figures is that they don't stand great, as you can see. So let me see if I can move the cardboard back here. See if I can stand him up properly. 
Uh, problem is these are like kind of disproportioned in terms of their weight. And I think he's already kind of starting to fall over. Let's see if I can balance him with his arms. Okay, he comes with a gun accessory. I'll pop that out right now. Let's see a little gun right there. So this was played more as a gag. Uh, I think Sonic's um, kind of adopted family use it in the movie without giving too much of a spoiler. It's not really kind of a gun per se. It's just one of those gadgets that Tails um, uh, has in the movie. So he, hands, he holds it perfectly. Um, uh, this one seems to stand better than I've seen at least some of the Sonic figures in the line do. Um, but uh, it's really... It's a, it's a neat figure line to have. Uh, love the video game series uh, between Mario and Sonic. Just some of my favorite, um, some of my favorite characters in any type of media um, and be able to have the movie figures. Um, it's just been uh, a great transition to have a successful film franchise uh, for a video game and just to be able to celebrate your favorite characters like Sonic and Tails. And this tale, this figure is, um, it's a great interpretation of the character. Um, and I do like kind of the texture, the tails, and kind of that have accurate representation of while getting your classic tails representation from the video game, there's a little bit of a different design to make it more realistic to um, the movie universe. We're gonna put him to the side if he stands, which he probably won't stay standing. So that was from movie line one, or the first line of toys for the, for the movie. Um, those are the newer figures that are starting to pop up in, in stores. Um, found Supersonic. Highly recommend uh, finding him if you can because it seems to be, he seems to be a lot more rare. Um, if you remember when the movie came out, you couldn't get a Supersonic figure. You can only get Supersonic in the, I believe it was uh, the McDonald's toy line that they did for the movie. They had a Supersonic figure, but you couldn't get him uh, in the main figure line. I think it was considered more of a spoiler for the movie because he pops out at, at the end of the film. So this is Super Sonic in all his glory. Um, and I'm gonna go over some of the figures that you see in that line. Uh, so right here, they've got re-releases of, um, and they're a bit of variants. Um, you've got Tails in his kind of flight form where he's got his uh, little helmet um, for when he uh, flies his, uh, I believe it's the tornado. You've got, um, and you can't tell from the picture, but in stories you can tell more clearly is Knuckles um, and he's kind of got like his uh, charged up look. So the figure looks a little bit different. You cannot tell on the back picture. And then, um, and I guess he comes with kind of like the ring portal that you see in the movie um, that's inspired by the video game. And you got Sonic that comes with his map that was given to him by his kind of owl protector. And he's also, also you, you can't tell from the picture, but he's kind of got like this charged up form where they almost have like, um, like the lightning bolts or something like kind of uh, the energy coming through their body that's in both the Sonic, sorry, the Sonic and um, Knuckles figures uh, that if you have a, a, a Sonic and, and Knuckles figure ready from that line, didn't see a purpose to rebind them, even though there are slight uh, differences in how they're um, painted. But um, I thought that, the, of course, Super Sonic is different enough in terms of he's kind of got his, his, uh, uh, his spice kind of poking up. And um, of course, it's supersonic. Can't do go wrong with supersonic. Definitely add, add him to the line. It comes with the KS Emerald. And again, I, I don't like how these figures stand. I think they're kind of bow-legged. Bow, bow -legged. They constantly are falling over. So not my favorite uh, in terms of trying to get them to stand. I wish that um, balance was a little bit better. And it seems to only happen with these. Like if you get the, um, the video game versions from Jack Specific, um, never have that problem. It just seems to be the movie line. Pop them out of this box. Come with his accessory, the Chaos Emerald, right there. Little glowy, transparent look to it. I guess that would be kind of the, um, I don't think you see any of the master, you, you don't see any of the other emeralds except for the master emerald in uh, the Sonic 2 movie. For those that remember the game, you have to collect a bunch of them to get the uh, Super Sonic version. Out of the box. It comes with kind of a, uh, it's kind of tied down there. 
and pop them out. And he still has this kind of twist die connected to him. If I can just pull it off, there we go. So here's Sonic and all his bow-leggedness, as you can tell, like straight out of the box. Like how this guy's gonna have a problem standing. He looks great though, as you can tell, just almost like he's straight out of the video game or movie. Um, and just the, the quills on the side, uh, just looking at almost like a Dragon Ball Z type of look, just kind of comes out, um, just pops. Um, again, just a great looking figure, just great to have a Super Sonic figure. Um, growing up, I wish I had figures like this. You never had Sonic figures growing up. You just had to deal with the ones from, from McDonald's that came with Sonic 3. Uh, that seemed to be like the only figures that you had. And now you've got play sets. You've got the vehicles like I just showed you. So let's see if you can stand them up. And again, kind of tough. Never seems to stand just straight. Uh, you got to kind of like pose him. Kind of a crazy stand. And then maybe he'll do it. There we go. I don't think that'll stay. But can you guys see that? Just a, It's a great looking figure. I'll do another close up one more time. It's got that kind of like smirk look to it. Um, the kind of the Sonics in Sonic Adventure, he had green eyes. And when he goes into supersonic mode, he's kind of got almost like these red type eyes because he's supercharged. Um, and again, this is a representation, uh, giving spoilers unfortunately, but it's um, we're almost uh, like nine months after that movie came out, but uh, Supersonic appears at the end of the film and does some damage to Robotnik, the lead villain of the film. So just great looking toy. Again, has kind of the texture to the figure that differentiates it from uh, from the video game version. And plus, uh, of course, another difference is his eyes are pretty separated as opposed to the video game version where his eyes are connected. But uh, just a great looking figure. Um, I do not like how the legs are kind of bow-legged. Um, and they're very, very flimsy. You know, set him straight. You kind of get him into... You can get him into crazy poses, but how long is he going to stay that way? And especially... You know, he just Maybe if he's just... And like the balance, his legs will constantly give out. Like the, the shoes are too slippery. I think that's a little bit better. Again, not a great pose, but deal for now. Uh, again, a great figure line. Highly recommend if you can find them. Um, some of the figures are harder to find than others. Good luck on finding a Robotnik. Um, Target, and I think even Walmart has it too, where they've got different variations of Sonic and a, uh, uh, like a three or four pack of the different costumes he wore throughout the movie. Um, seem to find those more frequently than you'd even find some of these. Um, I've only seen Supersonic once. I've only seen Robotnik once out in the wild. Uh, it just seems like a line that comes and goes. Uh, but if you can find it, pick some of this stuff up. Uh, I know they s kind of sold a playset that was in kind of this type of um, smaller scale figure line um, where he was fighting kind of um, that big. And unfortunately, some of my memory is kind of going. Uh, with respect to what the um, kind of the different designs from the video games were, but uh, kind of that main um, big robot that Robotnik's in. I know that you're fighting him on kind of like the Death Egg, and I forgot what the robot itself was, but kind of that mid big kind of robot that Robotnik is in at the end of Sonic 2. They made a play set of that and, and a figure form for these miniaturized versions. Um, I've never seen that play set in the wild. I, I believe that is sold mainly at GameStop, but uh, that's another thing that's kind of out there in the wild if you can find it. But again, cool toy line. Great to have a Sonic movie line, a, a successful uh, Sonic movie franchise uh, that people want to see. People are looking forward to a third movie coming out. Um, and I believe it's scheduled for hopefully 2024. Um, they've got the Knuckles series that's scheduled for 2023, so... Only good things uh, for, for Sonic. He's got his new show, Sonic Prime, on Netflix. So, uh, again, it's it's a good time to be a Sonic fan. Sonic Frontiers is also doing really well, both in reviews and sales. So, um, celebrate your classic character. Um, buy some of these figures if you can find it. 
good for adults and for kids. Um, Supersonic figure just looks cool. I mean, I can't, I can't get over those quills. Those look cool. Um, but uh, just, just be aware, doesn't stand well. Um, and uh, and you, know, you can get him in some pretty cool po uh, poses and having him right next to KS Emerald, it's a cool look. I mean, look at that, that's cool, pretty cool. Uh, next to be able to, to buy plane and, and tails. Um, and even being able to, um, I'm gonna uh, step off a camera for a second, but let me pull some of the video game figures from uh, the Mario line. So these are the same Jack specific figures, but from the, the Mario line of, and this is the video game, but being able to stand them side by side and the Jack specific line for the video game character representation stands so much better. But look at that, side by side with your, your favorite characters from Sonic. Just looks great. Um, those colors really pop. Um, great line, highly recommend it. So by all means, guys, go out, buy these figures, have fun, and celebrate Sonic. All right, hope you enjoy it. See you next time.